Now, here we will see one example of a critical path having uh, the same template that we have just seen in the last section which is about the early start, early finish, late start and late finish. The critical path is used to determine which activity have the least amount of float. Typically a zero float that is what we have on a critical path. We might have some negative float in terms of critical path. But if we have a float on every path it means we can definitely delay the project for some time because we do we have constraints available. So maybe we have a constraint which is not start earlier than for some activity which means if there is a float in between we can definitely delay our, uh, our activity a little bit to minimize the project timeline. You can also use the critical part to determine the earliest date for which the project may be completed. There can be more than one critical path in a project and it is possible to for the critical part to be changed as the project proceed because critical path does not mean two things. One, these are not all critical activities of your project which means it only defines the duration and the completion date but you might have a, some very key critical activity somewhere else happening in parallel which on which actually the success of the project uh, depends or depends or not. So it might be completely different thing. Critical activities on the critical path is that we have to make sure that no activity on this path gets delayed so that we do not delay our project timeline. Then changes, so we may have multiple critical paths and we may have multiple near critical paths. The critical path is the minimum project duration. It is the latest time at which a project can be completed. The critical path will also reveal the earliest possible date that the project can be completed by or the project that you can start or you can delay the project without affecting the final date of the delivery. So this is one example that here you can see early start and early finish task A is about 5 days, task B is about 10 days, task C is about 5 days and then task D is about 15 days. So if you see the way we are moving and if you find out the critical path there is a total float 0 for A, B and D. C has a float of 5, uh, five days that's a total float that you have on that activity which means activity C you can either start on 6th day or you can start on 11th day completely based on your preferred logic that you want to build up on this project. So this is where we conclude our discussions on critical path. I hope I have made it clear. If you have any question, please let me know. We will definitely do some examples as part of an exercises. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.